Welcome into another Fraternity Vblog. In man's original sin, man brings his entire existence under the authority of the lie. Man now believes that the lie of Satan was the ultimate truth upon now he builds his life upon. Man then considered the truth of God a lie. This lie becomes the domain of darkness. And man lives now in the web of denial. After the rebellion, Adam and his wife had his urgent need to hide themselves. They are ashamed of who they are, and they don't want to be seen by another human being. So they hide themselves with fig leaves in the pretense that nothing's wrong. Now, when God shows up, they feel even a greater shame, a loathing, so they hide in the trees. In response to God's question of love, Adam, where are you and what have you done? God humiliates himself out of love. He knows everything. He's everywhere. He is calling Adam out of the shame. He's saying, bring your shame out here. Tell me that you blew it. See, man, I believe he was giving Adam a chance. He knew what they had done. He was there when they did it. God was trying to get Adam to open the door that Adam was nailing shut. God, I believe men would have forgiven them right then and there. Adam does come out, but all he does is deny. He starts to make excuses. He shifts the blame on his wife. Eve even tries to take the blame, but then tells God the devil made her do it. Now, the effects of living in this web of denial for men has been addictions. In order to ease the pain of sinful shame and the sense of worthlessness, men escape into addictions and compulsions like drugs, pornography, food, lying, and even rebellion. Then men start denying the addictions. They start saying, it's not harming anyone. The answer, Jesus identifies himself as the truth in a world living a lie, John 14, 6. Jesus exposed the lie which had portrayed God, seeking to restrict man, hold him back from his fullest potential. Jesus shows us that the Father is unconditional love. He is truly seeking our highest good and our fullest potential as humans, which is living in relationship and union with our great God. Men, when we come to the light by acknowledging the truth about ourselves and the truth about God, obey the gospel, submitting ourselves as rebels to the unconditional love, He forgives us, He cleanses us not only of our sin that we're responsible for, but also the shame produced by the sin. Men, that's true freedom. So choose today to be free of the web of the denial. We are the fraternity.